Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about a new writing project that I've started that I am so excited about. I've been having a great time just kind of starting the initial research, the initial yeah, steps of this project, and I'm looking forward to bringing this to completion, to getting this done, to actually making this happen. I have a really good feeling about this project where, you know, sometimes you start something, um, a writing project, and you just don't finish it, or it just doesn't go where you hoped it would go, or... And I hope that doesn't happen with this project, basically, is what I'm saying. So, the other day, I read an amazing illustrated biography of James Joyce. So it was a graphic novel, but it was a very thorough historical work at the same time. Like, it was clear that a lot of research and um, good scholarship, I guess, had gone into writing this graphic novel. And then the art was just amazing. I couldn't put it down. I read it in one sitting, essentially, and was just like... This is actually amazing. Like, I learned a lot about James Joyce and his times through this graphic novel, and it was so much fun to read. And so, I'm doing something similar. Um, I have a friend who is an incredible artist, and we want to write an illustrated biography of the figure Abraham Kuyper. Now, Abraham Kuyper is not as popular a figure as James Joyce. He's not a recognizable um, name. In most circles, I would think, in my circles, he's huge. I'm Dutch Canadian, my background is Dutch, and Abraham Kuyper was a Dutch theologian, scholar, pastor, statesman, prime minister of the Netherlands, and university founder. Founder. Um, he was a great dude. He did a lot um, in the Netherlands for um, the country as a whole, but especially for the reformed people Anyways, he's just a very prolific writer, thinker, doer, and his life is very interesting. And so we want to write an illustrated biography of Abraham Kuyper. So the research and the storyline writing, that falls to me. I finally get to use my history degree um, in a writing project, which is just incredible. Like, that's what I want to do. So I'm super excited about that. And then my friend will do most of the illustrations. So it'll be a joint effort where... Obviously, we're both contributing to the story we want to tell and how we want to tell it. We both kind of have our special skills and niches where mine will fall heavily on the research side and hers will fall mostly on the art side. So, I have a couple of biographies of Abraham Kuyper that I'm working with. This one's very old. It's just called Abraham Kuyper by Frank Vandenberg. And then this is a much newer um, biography by James D. Bratt. Abraham Kuyper, modern Calvinist, Christian Democrat. So those are the two that I'm working with off the bat, and then of course I'm doing online research as well. Um, so kind of my process for this project is I'm starting by making like timeline, a timeline and just breaking down his life into sections, you know, starting with early childhood and early life, starting then moving to his education and then to his early career just breaking it down into kind of digestible chunks because we'll probably end up formatting the book that way anyways in sections um, and then I'm just you know researching writing down taking notes on all the key moments within those time periods and just really making sure that I understand the times I understand what's going on even beyond Abraham Kuyper um, what forces are at play in the world in Holland at that time all that kind of stuff so just really making sure that I understand who he was and what he did and why and when and all that kind of stuff. Getting it clear in my head so that when I start writing the storyline based on this research, I could trust what I'm writing. I suppose um, the story will be historically accurate. It'll all um, flow. It'll make sense. There won't be any gaps. That kind of thing. So I'm in the, the initial research stages right now halfway through my first biography. I have a very strong sense of the first half of Kuiper's life and career. And so for the next couple weeks, I'll just be going through these books, doing my research online, taking notes, writing up everything that I need. And then hopefully, you know, within a month, I can start on the storyline. And from there, the, the main challenge will be, okay, how do we make this into a storyline that can fit in a graphic novel? in graphic novel format. How can we, you know, put some of this into speech? How can we tell this in a way that will be 
compatible with art, you know, um, I'll have to do a lot of research on the landscapes and the buildings that he traversed to make sure that my friend's drawings will be historically accurate as well. So that'll be a big thing, figuring out, okay, you know, how can we tell some of these, you know, super political or super theological um, debates or moments, whatever, how can we put that into art in a way that's going to compel the reader? So that will be the challenge going forward, but I'm really excited about this project. I think it'll be a hit if we ever get this thing done and published. I think it'll be a hit in our university, in our circles here in Ontario, and in the Netherlands as well. So looking forward to seeing what will become of this. Hopefully it's something we can pull off in the busyness of the rest of our lives, my friend and I working full time, keeping up with our social lives, relationships, all that kind of stuff. It's a lot, but this project is giving me life. Um, if you watched my first video, you know that I just graduated recently, um, finished my final exams in April of this year, and so it's been about two months of job searching, working, trying to figure out what to do with my degree. And honestly, I missed having homework, like having a project like this where I actually have to sit down and do research and write and with an end goal in mind, like that feels great. That gives me life. So I'm very glad for this project um, and hopefully I can keep you guys updated and we'll see where this goes. Thank you. 